All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, we are in YouTube today, uh, but uh, as I said in the previous video, I'm going to expand my broadcast to other broadcast system uh, for better reach out to people and to get uh, you know more and new uh, faces to learn about the cult of Islam. So please invite your friends and tell them that we are here for now until further update I will I will see if we can do maybe broadcast in the same time in more than one channel like Facebook uh, Twitch I, I made an account already in, in Twitch and uh, YouTube in the same time and maybe uh, Vimo uh, but Vimo need like uh, you have to make a paid uh, account in order to be able to do live stream but it's very possible because it's more secure and uh, there's more freedom, you know, because there you will be a customer as long as you're paying. Um, anyway, uh, welcome everybody. Please invite your friends. And soon we will have our Skype open. Uh, so any Muslim would like to call, feel free. And in the midst of the time, after maybe an hour from now, we can take a phone call from or Skype call from Christians. Uh, the reason always I like to start with Muslims if there is anyone uh, because you know uh, Muslims uh, they uh, they need help you know uh, they ask uh, the Messiah why you uh, you know why you are helping this one you know this one is a sinner right this one is uh, uh, etc so uh, he said well the doctor come uh, for you know the, the sick one uh, not the opposite the healthy he did not even need help um, anyway uh, I hope that we will receive some phone calls from Muslims and uh, by I mean by Skype which is very you know I mean it's it's for free you do not need to spend a penny in order to call us same time better than posting for me questions in, in in Facebook and expecting me to answer uh, uh, a question in text you know I better go and write a book uh, from answering you uh, especially if the question is about like backward forward backward forward you know writing a book is easier because a lot of text is involved here we can answer you we can show you the reference we can explain to you and better for me and for you especially most of those who ask questions from the muslims are not first uh, english and not, the, not their first uh, language the same as mine uh, so it's for my benefit and your benefit we can express ourselves better by talking from writing so if you are a muslim please feel free i just open my skype feel free to contact me my skype is open i will be happy to have you uh, and uh, to talk to you and for sure you know our topic is not about we are not fighting with the, with Muslims we are fighting for the sake of the truth and the truth will set you free now today I saw a question from a Muslim in Facebook as usual you know Muslims they have their own questions but sometimes the questions of the Muslims then itself need to be questioned and I find it kind of funny and kind of uh, weird this is a person his name is Saleh Khanur in Arabic which means he speak Arabic so I, I will I would like him to call us actually he said and I hope that uh, his question is coming clear in the text for you in the screen uh, who was in the cross let us a little bit zoom to make it more clear for you hold on all right. <clears throat> Let us do this. All right. I think now we have it all. Uh, the question saying, "Who died in the on the cross?" There is no answer. Now the Muslim. The funny about the Muslims, they ask and they answer themselves. Hmm. I mean, <laughs> there is no answer. To it, in the case of Christians, if, 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 if the guy, he is the judge, he asked the question and he got the conclusion that the Christians have no answer. 
death is separation of the soul from the body in the case of a Christ who separated is the Lord separated from the flesh so there is no existence of the alleged sacrifice I mean if we go here and see the intelligence of the Muslims we will see how funny this statement is because the Muslims they have a big occasion it's called the occasion of al adha which means the sacrifice so are you saying to me if the soul separated from the body sacrifice is not exist that's mean when you sacrifice a sheep your sacrifice is not real because the sheep the flesh will be separated from the soul the sheep have a soul too she's a living creature so this is how naive they are. He is saying the sacrifice is gone. There's no sacrifice no more because now the, the soul is separated from the, the, the body. As if you are, when you say sacrifice, it means we are sacrificing the soul and we are sacrificing the body. And by the way, the sacrifice is a pagan belief. And this is what your Muslims do. Your Muslims are pagan people who believe if you sacrifice something, God will forgive your sin. And I can show you tons of verses from the Quran and from the Hadith. Even when, according to your prophet, when the two sons of uh, uh, Adam, they were fighting over their sister because one of them, she have a cross eyes and the other one, she is uh, beautiful. Uh, Allah, he inspired uh, uh, Adam to tell his sons that make sacrifice and the one who Allah accept his sacrifice uh, he will get the beautiful girl and then one of them he sacrifice a ram and the other one he sacrifice vegetables zucchini according to your Muslim story hmm? then the question will be did Allah accept the sacrifice or the sacrifice is not valid because now he killed the sacrifice he killed the sheep but yet Allah he sent a fire from the heaven according to Islam and he ate the sheep so based on your statement and based on your belief as you claim now there is no sacrifice because the spirit is separated from the body that is something against your religion not against me because we don't believe in sacrifaction uh, in the pagan way as you Muslims do believe we believe that Christ he said I lay down myself and nobody can take it from me he is the one he said I do that what does that mean doesn't mean he commits suicide doesn't mean he killed himself he knew what they will do to him tomorrow he knew even who is the one who will deliver him but yet he is not a coward like the Isa in the Quran where he flee in the first limousine and Allah grabbed him and he took him from there and we will go over that so the first the first allegation you have against sacrifice this is against you not against us that's mean all the sacrifice the Muslims they present in their life is false and it does not exist if we go in the Quran because as you know, we don't like to make a statement without proving it. So let us go to the Quran and do some barbecue. Hmm. Let us see. You know, the Muslims sometimes when they talk, I mean, I don't know what, uh, uh, what they ate before they asked the question. I think the food is involved. Uh, maybe the camel urine I don't know the prophet he ordered him to drink camel urine all right <clears throat> let us see the sacrifice in in the in the Quran hmm Let us do this. I really I find it funny the Muslim logic because the, their logic is against their belief 
not against us <laughs> no <laughs> it's against everything they believe all right <clears throat> If we go in the Quran, we find the following verse. Let us start from this one. And this is the first statement, the Quran, proving to us that the Quran is using other religion term and even words. You know the word Qurban, if you go and search for it, you will find it exists in many places, in many languages. And you will find that it's a practice by those who believe in God and those who they are believing in fake God and pagan and etc. So they share the same thing. What Qurban mean? What Qurban mean? الَّذِينَ قَالُوا إِنَّ اللَّهَ عَهِدَ إِلَيْنَا أَلَّا نُؤْمِنَ لِرَسُولَ حَتَّى يَأْتِينَ بِقُرْبَانٍ تَأْكُلُهُ النَّارِ Chapter 3 verse number 183 They also said Allah took our promise not to believe in any messenger unless he showed us a sacrifice consumed by fire. Allah approved their statement, but he says, he didn't say, I did not say that to you. He said, well, I didn't send you a prophet before. Who did that? There come to you messenger before me with a clear sign, which means the same what you are asking for. Even with what you ask for. So what this verse confirm that Allah always he put a condition that if somebody want to come to you as a prophet sorry for that if somebody want to come to you as a prophet then he have to make a sacrifice and this sacrifice have to be accepted by God now the question is the sacrifice accepted then or not as you see your God Allah himself is taking it and accepting it because sacrifice is getting a ram if we go to the front verse in the Quran in chapter 5 verse number 27 let us go and see the interpretation 5 27 All right. In this case here, you will see that this is actually, you know what? Let us see 527 in Ibn Kathir because Ibn Kathir, he gives us a lot more fancy details. Let us go to Ibn Kathir. Ibn Kathir, uh, Muslims, they like Ibn Kathir. We have to spoil them. Okay. Customers come first, as you know. This is the story of Habil and Abil, Kabil and Cain. All right. What is the story? The story is that according to you Muslims, which is a very funny, stupid, that Habil and Abil, uh, their, their, their parents, which is Adam and Eve, they used to get a Britain at each time with the twin. Boing, twin. Uh, Okay, we call you Habil, we call your sister Susie. So now we have twin, each birth. Each time she give birth, she give a twin. So we have Habil and we have Susie. Habil and Susie. How are you doing, Susie? Okay. So let us take a note. Here we have Habil. Oh, we are typing in Arabic. Habil and Susie. All right. And then we have Qabil. Let us say, let us call his sister. Uh, uh, Fatima All right 
And now we have two brothers, two sisters. This is the Muslim story, not my story. Don't blame me for that. Now, what is that? What's happening here? According to this story, each twin have each each time she give birth, which means Eve, she give it a twin birth to a twin, male and female. So the first male, let's say here we give we give uh, we give uh, names, and here it says. Uh, what they used to do, they used, and I want you here to take a note with the word used because this is, will be very useful very soon. To give the female of one twin to the male of the other twin. Uh huh. You see how conservative they are? Yes, they are sisters and brothers, but it's haram. It is haram to have sex with your sister twin, but you can have sex with your sister, but she is not your twin. Islamic logic. Continue. Habil's sister was not beautiful. Okay, so who is the one that is beautiful? Is Habil's sister. Who is Habil's sister based on our names now? It is Susie. Take a note, please, guys. This is Susie. I feel sorry for you, Susie, what we can say. I mean, you are not beautiful. So Habil's sister, this is Susie. She is not beautiful. That means Fatima is so hot and so sexy. So now the problem based on Islam that Habil, he don't, you know, he, uh, Habil, he want to marry Fatima because this is the tradition. Habil, he told his brother, I want to marry your sister, twin sister. This is Habil. Habil want to have Fatima. Kabil, look at Susie. And he said to himself, no way, over my dead body. I'm not going to marry this ugly girl. Hello? I want to marry Fatima. So now we have two brothers. They want to marry one girl because the other girl, she have a cross eyes. This is the Muslim logic and this is the Muslim story. And what is making it more funny and crazy? Look what the story is saying and love with me. I mean, how, how much, how come the Muslim logic, this only come when they speak about Christianity, but when they see the stories, they go mute. How for God's sake, Abdul, your prophet said to you that they used. If those are the first twin, what do you mean they used? <laughs> Guys, are you following? <laughs> if those are the first two who they ever birth, you know, gave birth to them, those are the first. Two people. What do you mean they used to? If there is be if there is a brothers and sisters before those two. Hello. Do we have any Muslim in the bushes? Suddenly, the Muslim logic is not important. And no Muslim will complain about this stupidity. Any Muslim have a complaint about such such a crazy, stupid story? What do you mean they used? Used to what? This is the first male and this is the first female to Adam, which means before those two twins, there's no children. So what do you mean they used? To give the female of with one twin to a male of other twin, if those are the first one, <laughs> let it go, man. I mean, what's wrong with you? Let it go. All right. So Habil's sister, she was not beautiful. So what happened now? Why Kabil's sister is so hot? Oof, man, you should see, guys. You should see Habil's sister, and you should see Kabil's sister. You cannot compare. I mean, very, very, extremely hot girl. If I was there, I would be fighting with them over her too. That's an amazing story. It must be true. And it is documented by Muslims. By the way, Muslims, how your prophet, he knew this. 
any Muslim want to tell me how Muhammad was able to figure out this story? He was there. It is written in the Quran. Where he got this story from? Maybe Kabil and Habil, they taught him the details about their ugly sister. Let us continue. So what happened resulting in Kabil wanting her for him, himself instead of his, his brother Adam Adam refused unless both offer a sacrifice uh oh the Muslims always they say to the Christians that the you know sacrifice is a pagan practice this is what they say and they claim that sacrifice is not to prove God acceptance or not this is what they say. You can go and read tons of articles. Actually, I can do that right now. I can go right now and search for sacrifice in Islam. Let me do that. Hold on. Give me a second. Just to show you how the Muslim they try always to lie to us about their belief. Never learn Islam from Muslims. Never, never, never. <coughs> Uh, I will make the screen back. Just let me search for. All right. Let us see. I'm just uh, doing some search. Just to, uh, to find an article. Okay. Concept of sacrifice in Islam. All right, let us see. This is what the Muslims they claim. Read with me carefully. Actually, there's many articles, you know. Muslim who can afford will be sacrificing animals during those days, observing the honor and the obedience of a prophet Ibrahim. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the sacrifice of Cain and Abel was for the honor of who? Was it for an honor of somebody or because they are seeking approval? So here they give you no answer about really what sacrifice is about. Let us go to a different article. Maybe we can find an answer. Sacrifice Islam in the Bible. Let us see. Hmm. Read with me carefully, guys. This is Muslim website, alislam.org, nothing of my own. Uh, the paradigm, paradigm of sacrifice in the Bible in, and indeed in Islam is sacrifice of Abraham. Okay, let us continue. Where it says that God did not require hmm. Where it says that, where it says that, because I saw it, I saw it. Let us go back. It says that, all right. Hmm. Right, never, okay, here we go. But God never required anything. But sincere repentance. Let us see if this is true or not. We click here again. We search for this sentence here so we can read around it. Okay. Ancient people wanted to honor God and affirm their sincerity in a prayer by offering sacrifice. But God never required anything but sincere repentance repentance that's false that's false my friend that's false because as you see 
the Quran is the one mentioning the story of sacrifice stating that those two guys by Allah approval or by Allah request inspiring to Adam he told them that you have to do sacrifice and this is why Allah he accept the solution it says here let us read in English because if this is not the way of Allah then Allah will not even approve it will not even accept it will not be part of it right recite to them the truth of the story of the two sons of Adam behold they each presented a sacrifice to Allah it was accepted from one but was not from the other that's mean this is all happened by the request of Allah and as you see here this is a sacrifice have nothing to do with being repenting for something and this is a sacrifice was requested by Allah himself the same as the sacrifice was requested to Abraham because who is the one who asked for the sacrifice it was supposedly Allah here the story Muhammad is copying from the Old Testament and we know the story I'm not talking about Cain and Abel I'm talking about the story of Abraham so in both scenario Muslim they try to, ign to ignore the fact that this is was a sacrifice wanted by the God of Islam it was his request and there is no other sacrifice in Islam exists without the request of God and I challenge any Muslim to tell me where we can find in Islam sacrifice is not requested by God any Muslim do we have any Muslim there <clears throat> so when the Muslims speak about sacrificing obviously they don't even knows what sacrifice is about they are like living their ignorance and I will not be surprised if the one who asked the question he never heard about this verse before And yet they accuse the Christians that they are the one who believe in sacrificing uh, a human being as an example but that it's your God who, uh, who 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 order you to sacrifice a human being for him to make him happy because don't remember don't forget that Allah is the one who ordered the Muslims to do violent and to kill people in order for him to cool down Fight them to death to kill them. So Allah, He is going to truth it like uh, torture them by your hand. Is that right? <clears throat> okay. Who is the one is asking you to kill a human being and that is his solution it's your God here the Muslim they try they, tr they translate the word fight them it's a it's a correct translation by the way because in English the word fight can be used for normal fight but in Arabic the word qatilu is a word about fighting to kill coming from the word qatala which means killed somebody so here the correct translation if we want to make it a close more to Arabic we should say kill them kill them and Allah will punish them by your hands cover them with shame help you to victory over them heal the breast of the believer so Allah he have a hateful thought about those who rejected him so he's asking the Muslims to kill them so he is going to accept that sacrifice from the Muslims. So what the what the sacrifice is? The sacrifice in this scenario is killing non-Muslims for Allah is a blood sucker, bad man. He enjoy it. So now is the sacrifice which made by the Muslims accepted by Allah? We showed you already the sacrifice of Abraham in the Quran, the sacrifice of Cain and Abel, and all of it is sacrificing like here this case here about sacrificing a human being do Allah accept your killing 
is that accepted by Allah? Yes, He is the one is asking you, what does that mean? It means you are sacrificing to make Allah happy. What will happen if you don't do sacrifice? What will happen if the Muslim reject to kill for the sake of Allah? That means you reject to kill for him and kill a human being, sacrifice for him. Otherwise, you tell me what the point of this killing? If Allah is God, He can kill them Himself. So what He's asking you, He's asking you, you do it. And that is exactly what sacrifice of a human being is. You kill for the sake of Allah to make Him happy. Are we good to go? Let us continue. Please invite your friends. Don't forget to share the link with your friends. And uh, at the end of the this uh, session, we are going to give a free falafel uh, for Christians, and we will give halal food for the Muslims with halal drink. Now, if we go back to the question which the Muslim he asked us, who died in the cross? I mean, is that the question you asked me, or we should ask you the question? Abdul, for the sake of the leg of Allah, who died in the cross? I want to know myself because let me tell you what Islam teaches us. According to the Prophet of Allah, there is a guy, his name is Isa. Isa. This is the true Isa. But Allah, He fabricated another Isa. And then Then Allah He make the fake Isa look like real Isa. Let's make it simple. The question now, who is the one who was in the cross? <laughs> you are asking me? <laughs> the Muslim Abdul is asking me who was in the cross. I want to know. I want to know, not you. This is the most stupid religion. So look what happened. Allah, he made someone look like Isa, but the true Isa was not in the cross. However, the true Isa looked exactly like the fake Isa, and the fake Isa looked like exactly like the true Isa. So when they put the true Isa in the cross, they could not recognize if this is the true Isa or the fake Isa. However, the Christian, they think it's the true Isa, but the fact it was the fake Isa, and Allah, he took the real Isa to heaven, and he put the fake Isa in the cross. Now, let me ask you, how Allah was able to recognize between them? If both, they look the same. Maybe he took to heaven the fake Isa. Hello? How you are a Muslim, believe in such a garbage, yet you are asking me who is the true Isa? Who was in the cross? Who was in the cross? I want to know who was in the cross. I mean, your God, he could not find a better solution than except faking Isa. I mean, can't, can't he take him to heaven and that said, send the ambulance? We, 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 Isa, jump, jump. We, 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 to Allah, Allah, he sent us to uh, rescue, rescue you. I mean, what this drama is about. 
what this drama is about fake isa real isa the real isa look like fake isa and the fake isa look like real isa so now people they think this is isa but this is not isa but the rico is isa isa however the christian they say it's isa but it's not isa and isa then i see someone him to heaven and say isa and then under allah he took the isa isa and he the the jews they thought it this is isa in the cross but he did not isa but the fact that true isa was not really crucified it was the fake isa was crucified and allah okay hold on Unbelievable. Should we call Zach and Nayak? Shall we? <laughs> a Muslim is asking us who was on the cross. <laughs> That's hilarious. <coughs> Hello? 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 Who is this? Uh, Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum uh, uh, We have a question, really. Who was in the cross? Because we have uh, Christian guys here, they are asking questions about that. Okay. Brother and sister, some Christians, they ask you a question. They say to you, it is the true Isa was in the cross. However, this is absolutely wrong. Because Allah, the Almighty God, He made someone look like Isa. He had the same iPhone. He had the same mustache. He had the same beard. He had the same eyebrows. He had the same eyes. Actually, his eyes is very beautiful. Both, they look exactly the same. To the point, the doeth, and you know the doeth are very smart. You cannot fool the do. You cannot fool the do. However, Allah is the best of the deceivers. So Allah, he made someone look exactly like Isa to the point they could not recognize the true Isa from the fake Isa. So when they came to arrest Isa, they arrested the fake Isa. And this is how Allah, he saved Isa. So now the question, who was in the cross? It was the fake Isa or the true Isa? The answer is very simple. Allah knows best. Because it may be that Allah, he sacrificed the true Isa and he saved the fake Isa because both look the same. However, this is an allegation made by a guy, his name is a Christian prince. Don't ever listen to him, and whatever he say to you, don't say yes, don't say no. Thank you very much. This is a religion? This is a religion. And speaking about logic and separation between the soul and the body? Hmm? Let it go, let it go. I have a talent? Sure, I'm full of talent. It's God's gift, my friend. So now, the Muslim is confused. After all what we gave you, he is asking, was Christ in the cross united, the soul united with the flesh or not? Abdul, uh, Abdul, listen to me carefully. I love all the Abduls. When Jesus was on the cross, he was still alive, right? Mm -hmm. That's mean at that moment when they sacrifice when they killed him. I don't want to use the word sacrifice when they killed him, they killed him and the soul was there. So the moment the killing happened, he's still alive, which means soul and body is still united. However, you speak here about existence. Because you are ignorant, like you're a prophet, the existence of the word of God. Of the Christ have nothing to do with the existence of the body. Jesus said in my many places in the Bible that he is exist always. As an example, he said, Before Abraham, I am. The Jews they said to him, How you are before Abraham and you are not even 50 years old? How you can be exist before Abraham? This is a statement of somebody who is not aware of what he is saying, unless it is truthful. Before Abraham I am, but how you can be before Abraham, but you are a young man. He is exist before his birth. He said, I am the Alpha, I am the Omega, I am the beginning, I am the end. I am the truth, and the truth do not need to be born. So the birth of Jesus in the body of a man have nothing to do with the existence of the Messiah. For he was the word of God. And this is what all the Bible is teaching. So my friend, when they killed, they killed the body. 
and as long the Quran confirmed that Jesus can resurrect people from death can't he resurrect his own can't he come back to life can't he overcome death so what happened to Isa or to you know we call him Jesus you call him Isa I don't know why uh, nothing exactly nothing for God never die it was the body which die but God never die God is always alive he is the living God once upon the time there was two Egyptian guys and one of them started debating me and he didn't know that I am a Christian prince for sure otherwise he would never open his mouth he said to me don't you think it's really crazy to believe that Jesus and insulting to Jesus and insulting to God to believe that Jesus was a crucified do you think really if Jesus is the son of God his father will let him die I said are you sure he said yeah if Jesus is son of God there is no way his father will let him get crucified and humiliated I said well based in your argument that's mean Jesus is son of God according to Islam because according to Islam Jesus was never crucified and Allah saved him this is how stupid the logic of the Muslims I advise you Muslims before you speak before you open your mouth count to ten especially if your statement is going to come to me because I'm going to make you the joke of everybody when the Muslim they say here we see that the fact of Jesus in Islam is a close closer to reason we ask here what what fact you are talking about because even in Islam even in Islam Jesus was in the cross and let us tell you how this happened if we go to the Quran we read the following <clears throat> Switch to Arabic. وقولهم إن قتلنا المسيح عيسى بن مريم رسول الله وما قتلوه وما صلبوه ولكن شبه لهم. Translation. You can choose any translation made by the Abdul. All of them they are fake, but I will let it go. And they say. We killed Christ Jesus, the son of Mary, the messenger of Allah. And here, look, guys, look how stupid this statement is. How they killed him, but yet they say he is a messenger of Allah. If, 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 have you ever heard of somebody when I kill somebody, he, he believes he's a prophet? They will not kill him if, he's a, if, if he is a prophet for them. So those are believers, but they, yet they kill him. Why? What was the reason to kill a messenger of Allah? Anyone can tell me. Muslims, as always, they have no answer. But they killed him not. So this is confirmed that they killed him not. But what would happen? Nor crucified him. They did not crucify him. But so it was made to appear to them. That's mean. That's mean, Abdul. Based on this, Allah, he made us see Jesus in the cross. That's mean. If you want to question why we believe in Jesus crucifixion go and ask your stupid Allah because he is the one who made him appear in the cross and we are the victims what is my fault if your God he made him appear to me who is the donkey in this scenario the one who made it appear or the one who is a human being he just judged by what he see any Muslim can give us an answer if your God is the one who made Jesus appear in the cross for us but it was not Jesus so let us meet the way this way brother sister it was the wisdom of Allah the Almighty to make Jesus appear in the cross but it was not Jesus so the Christian they were standing in the front of Jesus they thought it is Jesus because Allah made them believe it's Jesus and because Allah is the best of the deceiver as a Christian prince, he named his book the Deception of Allah. Therefore, the, the Christian, the poor Christian, they thought Jesus was a crucified, but the fact he wasn't the crucified. 
because Allah he did not make him crucified because Allah makes someone appear like him and he put him in the cross and they thought and they thought he's the crucified because Allah made it appear for them to be crucified so now Allah is going to punish them because they believe in his lie thank you very much <laughs> <laughs> what a stupid religion man unbelievable um i mean this is th this is philosophy this is the genius philosopher muhammad how he can come with this man this is amazing this is so beautiful Tony, get us some pizza. Tony, get us some pizza to the fake Jesus because he is dying in the cross. And the Christian, they think this is the true Jesus. And don't forget to make another order for the real Jesus. Tony, bambino. I mean, have you ever heard of a stupid religion more than Islam? So the God of Islam and the Muslim, they blame us for believing that Jesus was in the cross when it is their God who made it appear for us. <laughs> Why you believe in the crucifixion of Jesus? Why? Huh? Why you believe in the crucifixion of Jesus? Your Allah, He made it appear to us, man. Um, yeah, this is true. Allah, He made it appear to you. But Muhammad came 600 years after. You know, guys, Muhammad is a witness of nothing. He was not in the time of Jesus. He never met Jesus. He never spoke to Jesus. He never even spoke to Allah. He never met Allah. He never heard even the fart of Allah. But yet he is going to witness for someone was exist before him 600 years. This is the Muslim logic. They say to you, do you know that the Bible? Do you know the Bible? Brother Sitter, do you know that the Bible, the first Bible is written between 40 to 60 years after Jesus? How we can trust such a book? However, I will prophet peace upon him came 600 years after Jesus and this is why we trust him because he came long after Because in Islamic logic the more farther you are the more trustworthy you are. Thank you very much. Unbelievable So 60 years after Jesus for the Muslims is a problem 600 years after Jesus is a trustworthy Any comment from any Abdul? <clears throat> Do we have any comment from the Abdul? <coughs> Hello? Hello? It's me you're looking for. I am the same as before, but today is the fake me, and Allah, he saved me. Hello? Allah saved the fake Jesus. We're not do Jesus. We're not Jesus. I'm an Indian Jesus. So now we have Jesus, and but this is not Jesus. Which Jesus is a Jesus? And you Muslims asking us, who was in the cross? <laughs> do we have any Abdul? Abdul, he sent me a request. Hold on. <coughs> you do not need, nobody need to send me a request, guys. He can just can't call me. I do not need to accept any request of anyone. If you are a Muslim and you want to call me, just call. Any Muslim would like to call me? <clears throat> Who is a Muslim would like to call me? Anyone? Any Muslim you see if you are a Muslim and you call me and you debate me Allah will give you extra reward and you never know he might even give her give you an extra meter or two of your for your private penis because the Prophet he promised in this penis for Muslim maybe he will make it even longer for you because this is a blessing for Allah that you are defending Allah so who is the Muslim when I give us a call Huh? 
Huh? I don't know what's wrong with Muslims and obviously they knew that Islam is a cult and Islam cannot stand the questions this is why they are afraid from questions any Abdul Who's Abdul wanna give us a call? Mayday, Mayday. Abdul is needed. Mayday. Any Abdul? No. Two days ago, I have, uh, uh, you know, here we have election, you know, a prime election. So uh, I am I am been elected to be a judge, election judge. And there is a training you have to take. Uh, so, you know, we have a break. And one of those guys there, you know, I have an accent and etc. So he asked me, so are you a Muslim? I said, what? I said, are you a Muslim? I said, do I look stupid for you? He said, no, no, I don't mean. I said, why are you, why are you are saying to me I'm Muslim? What I did? Did I do something wrong? <laughs> oh, are you a Muslim? I didn't know what to say. I mean, from all the religion in the world, you could not choose for me except to be a Muslim, a person who believed that God will give versions in heaven. I mean, do I need to be a genius to figure out that Islam is a stupid religion and it's a stupid to be a Muslim? There's a God. Let us make it this way. <clears throat> hey guys, by the way, I am uh, I am offered uh, a, a prize. Did I say prize? Unbelievable. Prize, prize, shampoo uh, by the highest commission of arts in the world because they notice how how good is my art is. All right. So in the heaven of Allah, my friend, my brother and sister, when we go to heaven, I found that the best way to draw my drawing so nobody can make a comment about how ugly my drawing is. Look how smart I am. Look at this. I'm going to use white ink. Okay, this is me. Unbelievable how beautiful this drawing is. This way, none of you can complain. I'm just joking. I'm going to change the ink. I mean, the, how you can see a uh, white ink? Uh, that I mean, this guy is crazy. Let us change the ink color. Make it. Uh, <clears throat> make it a black. According to Islam, anyone who is a Muslim. Let us tell you the story from the beginning. The logic of Islam. All right. This is Bilal. Bilal, the one who used to say, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Bilal was an Ethiopian. According to Islam, Allah, before he let Bilal enter, into heaven, He have to transform him and make him white. Then Bilal is going to be welcomed by two angels. Take a note. Two angels will be waiting for him in the front door. And those angels for sure they are white. There's no way Allah will make angels. As you see, there's a Muslim before. You know him very well without saying his name. He said, and for sure, because they are white, they are angels. <laughs> what a racist religion. So there is two angels here waiting for Bilal, and those two angels are going to have uh, two cup of drink in their hand. Now the angel, he have a very long hand, especially this one. 
he will hand Bilal a cup of water Bilal will drink the water and then Bilal he was black and then after he drink the water he will turn to be white I mean how smart this religion is because according to the cult of Islam you cannot enter heaven unless you are white this is what the Quran says however in chapter 27 verse number 82 it says that Allah to be sure that everybody is not <laughs> believer I mean the Quran is full of garbage man how in one verse it says that everyone in this world Allah will send a beast and the beast will hit him with the staff of Moses in his nose and he will turn white and with the ring of Solomon in his nose and his face will be white then we find this story that two angels waiting for us and they will give us two drink one will make us so white and the other one will make us free of guilt I believe this drink was diarrhea by the way the guilt one so now in the heaven of Allah guys what do you think about my drawing am I good who want to buy my draw who want to buy this art hold on let me let me type my Arabian signature in it so nobody can fake it hold on I just will type the the first few names of my family all right we should go guys to the Middle East in the Middle East every year that te the teacher come when we are like elementary is uh, you know high school every every kid he have to stand up and say his name and each one of us his name is like a train Muhammad Ahmad Hassan Hamdina Hazina Halina Halina Nahana Halina Huni Halina Huni Huni Halina and now he and we start like the teacher is not even listening you know I mean like what and each one of them have like a hundred names okay so let me sign the signature here My name is going over over the board to the screen. Okay, I, I just is this is just my first name. Let me type my second name. Okay, now we go to the third name, last name, last name. As you can come tomorrow, that will be done soon. All right. I mean, this is almost almost. Okay, I'm there. I'm there. It's coming. It's coming. All right, here we go. Now I have to put a signature. Hold on. There's no space, so I have to wipe everything. Sorry. Oh, we have a caller here. <coughs> Hello? <coughs> Hello? 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 Are you um, Arab the cops? What are you? What? How are you doing, my friend? Take it easy, relax. This is a Christian prince with you. How I can help you? You are live on air. Um, they wanted me to call you. Who, who, who want you to call me? Why? Who, are you a Muslim? Uh, no. So why you are calling me? Because they wanted me to. You want to meet me? Uh, interesting. For what reason? No, I wanted me to call you. Who wanted you to call me? Your subscriber. Okay, and what do you want to say to me? Not sure. Not sure. Okay, well, when you are sure, let me know, my friend. Okay? Uh, we have options. Some people, they call me for asking for a recipe about how to make eggplant. Some people, they call me to ask me how they can save money uh when they go on vacation i'm not sure what is your case but uh, for sure you are not sure so i cannot answer you about something you are not sure for what you are sure from so when you are sure if it was the fake jesus in the cross or the true jesus let me know all right take care what's wrong with people i mean i wait for 10 hours for a muslim and then i get this god i don't deserve this seriously i don't deserve this anyway <clears throat> unbelievable unbelievable Anyway, anyway, let it go, let it go. <clears throat> so now Bilal is going to enter heaven. Now Bilal, he drink, he drink the water, and by the magic of Allah, Bilal immediately he will turn to be white. Okay. 
You see, here we go. Look, 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 look. The color is spread. The color is spread. The color is spread. The color is spread. Bilal is getting white. Bilal, we cannot see Bilal no more. What happened? Bilal is so bright and so white. We cannot see him. Bilal is gone. Bilal is gone. The water is working. The magical water. I see only his feet. I think we will. I will let his feet there. So now Bilal became white to the point we cannot see him. Uh, uh, I will. I will color black. Uh, sorry, uh, 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 Bilal now with different colors so we can see him. But what we can do now? Bilal is gone. I mean, we cannot do that. We have to give him a color at least. Let, let, let us give him the color of the uh, let us say uh, uh, blue so now Bilal he enter heaven now he is a blue oh mommy oh mommy mommy blue oh mommy blue oh mommy oh mommy Bilal now is so happy he's in heaven according to the Dean show and doctor uh, I don't know if you watch the show. It's called uh, Description of Paradise. He said this. Let me quote. Let me quote. I wish I can play the video here. It's hilarious. <clears throat> a brother, a brother, when you enter heaven, you do not need GPS. You do not need Google Map. You do not need a map. You go right away to your home. And the other guy, he said, Amazing. Wow. You go to your, to your home, you said he's right away to your home. No traffic. You go right away to your home because there is two angels. An angel, he will grab you from your hand and will take you to your home. <laughs> so when you see first time, you hear there's no GPS, there's no GPS needed. There's, you think that this guy, he will go alone. But then he will say to you because an angel will take you from your hand and will take you to your home. All right, we got this one. When you enter your home, before you enter, you will find that your home have four doors. Let me draw again. Guys, I'm very good in art. Unbelievable. I mean, I was, by the way, I was the best in my classroom in art. It's true I was the only student. Well, Allah, he was the only creator, supposedly, but yet he say in the Quran, he's the best creator. <laughs> so you go to your house. I don't know how good my, my, my drawing here. Have you ever heard of, of an art like this? Unbelievable. Look how, how unbelievable it's, it's coming through. So there is four doors. Door in here. And door in here. And there is door. Let us make this house see-through as if it is see-through, okay? Just let it go. Here there is a door. Every, every corner there is a door. All right? So you enter your house you will have four door door you go to Allah here there is an there is an exit sign says Allah Allah the moon God and door for your sexy boys slave 80,000 boys 80,000 Brother, you believe it? Eighty thousand only. I was expecting bigger number. Eighty. Th and this is in Arabic. Hold on, let us change. Only. I mean, <laughs> I mean, Allah is being cheap with us, man. Eighty thousand boys to serve me. I mean, Muslims, what they will do exactly? If if you in Islam, you believe that when you go to heaven, if you wish to have a bird, he's a flying, he will be in front of you in a barbecue dish. So what the servant for? If you never take a shower, you never have wrinkled clothes, your clothes will never be damaged. You don't sweat, you don't piss, you don't. So what the what the, what the servant for? Anybody can tell me. Eighty thousand little boy to do what exactly? And they are very white, like pearls. Hmm. Uh, by the way, don't forget if you want, you can download my videos and share them in your account, please. All right, I have no problem with that. You see how nice I am, guys. Honestly, do you see how nice I am? Unbelievable. I I'm going to buy a mirror. I'm going to buy a mirror and just look at myself like oh, how nice you are, how nice you are. And then I will imagine myself in the mirror 
like I am in the house of Allah in heaven and there is 80,000 little boy around me like rabbit <laughs> 80,000 rabbit I mean they will go crazy eight boys can drive you crazy if they are inside your home you will have 80,000 boys inside your home and how big your home and how you will know their names 80,000 hmm. I don't know didn't you think the number 80,000 is too much what about Allah? He fixed this number and make it like as an example more acceptable, more acceptable, more logical. Muhammad, come on, this is too much. Let us make it 79,000 and 99.9. Boy, I mean, this is logical, but 80,000, I think, Muhammad, this is too much. 79,999 is more acceptable and more logical and people will believe it more do what the marketing they do they say to you the price of this thing is 999 <laughs> oh boy do we have any Muslim here he don't have a he don't like what we are saying or you know you, you think we are not being fair do we have any Muslim Hello. Mm. An am mean animals. The word an am mean animals. All right. Do we have any Muslim would like to call? And then now we are inside the house. Now Bilal is inside the house. And now he have 80,000 little boy and 80,000 female. By the way, the, number, the numbers of females can be bigger, can be smaller, depend who you are in the heaven. This door, every Friday, an angel will come to you and will deliver to you a card. The card is coming from Allah. Let us, uh, let us uh, draw a card. Hold on. He will give him a card in his hand. I will make the card big so you can read together what is written in the card. Hold on. This is the card of Allah. Uh, let us take the banner off. All right. This is the card of Allah. In the card, it says the following. From Allah. My slave. I miss you. I mean, how wonderful, man. Every Friday for eternity. An angel will come to my door and he will knock at my door. And the Abdul inside, he cannot hear it because he is busy doing, you know, like... And the angel, each time he finished with the women, the, the women, she starts smoking, you know, because, you know, as in Arabic it says, which means push it hard, push it hard. And then, and then, the angel will, 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 will tap in his, his shoulder and he will say, enough. Like she is burning, man. Change her. So then he will take the second one. So while he is doing this, the angel will come to his house and he will knock at the door and he will give him this card. Now this Muslim, he will go out of this door. All right. Let us make a copy of this Muslim here. <clears throat> All right.
Oh, how we can make this uh, thing open? Hmm. I'm trying to move this guy individual to the picture here. Oh, he's see through. Unbelievable. That's wonderful. I don't know that. <laughs> it's, it's a miracle. <laughs> so now this guy, he is coming out of his door. And according to the Muslims and the Prophet of Allah, the second you exit this door, Allah will cover you by a shower from made from musk. Let us make a shower. Hold on, hold on. Shower, shower, water, water, like rain, musk, musk, musk. Come over you and you will smell so good, man. <clears throat> there is no way, Allah. He will let you enter into his house with your smell. <laughs> You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh boy, I've been sick all day long, and now we are going to go to Allah. You stink, you know. So now Allah will shower you with musk. You need shampoo, brother. Do you need shampoo? Now, after he shower you with musk, you will be ready to enter to the room of the party. In the room of the party, or where they are going to have a party. Let us clean this scene now. This scene is really going crazy. Let us make it uh, cleaner. All right. So now, when this Muslim he entered the party, he will find that there is a lot of chairs there. According to the Prophet, everyone he will have a chair. Let us draw a chair here. <clears throat> chair. I mean, what kind of a chair this chair is unbelievable this is a chair this is a, a, a toilet seat let's, let's try the second one this one this one will be better um, I don't know how to draw a chair okay this one is a is <laughs> anyway so everyone is going to have a chair now how many Muslims we have in the world if we count the one who died believe in Allah and the one who is alive believe in Allah we can say an average maybe uh, two billion three billion I don't know all of them they will have a chair now mr. Bilal he have to find his chair <laughs> Uh, oh boy, he will spend like 10 years to find his chair, man. Oh. <laughs> oh boy. Everyone will have a chair, and how I'm going, and, and not only this, the chair have a name, their your name in it, would make it more complicated. That your chair have a name, so you can't sit in any chair. You have to find your chair, and we have billions of chairs. How am I going to find my chair? And then. Every Friday night, there is a three singers. I don't know how I explain that to you. Hold on, let me see if I can find a different way. <coughs> Hello, hey CP, you want to? How join? are you today? I'm fine. You want to join the party with us? <laughs> sure, why not? All right. You have a question for the last two days, and I could not give you a chance to answer. So hit me before we before we finish today, and we skip you. What what is your question? <laughs> um, let's see here. Let me find the hadith. I was looking at uh, some hadith a couple days ago, <laughs> and I came across one about the jaw. At the jaw. Okay. Yeah, the jaw, but it was different. <laughs> the, the hadith is uh, Jamia Termidi. Hmm. Uh, 3391 and it speaks about the Dajjal as though he was a a person I mean like somebody that they knew person somebody uh, they, they, somebody to watch 
like somebody that they knew. In other words, they didn't speak like a prophecy, you know, one day that the jaw will show up and he's going to do this at some undisclosed time in the future. Mm. It spoke like this person up the street in the village of wherever, you know, he's the jaw, <laughs> you know, and, and I, I wanted to get your take on it. Have you seen it? Have, have you pulled it up yet? I need to find <clears throat> first what are you talking about because there's many. Um, do you have a link for it? Uh, well, it won't take me long to get it because... Because I did not really get your question. I know that because at the, at the end of the day, the Dajjal is a person. And there's tons of stories about the Dajjal, how he will come and etc. and fire and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Yeah, let's see. Um, <coughs> if anybody can, you can go to sunnah.com if anybody is listening. Um, like I said, the, the Arabic reference is 433 Hadith 91, and the single reference is 2248. So uh, give me a sec. Let me go and I'll put it to you in. Uh, Book 33, Hadith 91. Okay, here we go. Let's see the link. Okay, here, here is the link. I got it coming to you here. All right. I'm going to send it to you in <coughs> Skype. You know, I saw um, Shabir Ali actually mention this Hadith in a video. Okay. But Shabir was basically saying he was basically using it to make a point that we can't trust, you know, we can't trust all of the hadith. Mm. Uh, that, that was the point he was trying to make. Um, we basically, you know, the, the classic we have to cut some of the hadith out. Okay. Uh, so I, I have the, uh, but but uh, what what the question exactly? Because I did not get it the first time. I have the uh, hadith now. So that he is a person. Okay, and. He, well, he, he, here, here, what Muhammad is saying, he is making a prophecy how you can recognize this Dajjal, all right? So he speak about his parents, that he have a father and he have a mother, and they are funny in the look. Uh, he says uh, that his parents, they are tall and they have, uh, they are, uh, they are fat <laughs> and yeah. with, the, with the nose uh, as if it's a wear a beak. <laughs> Let me draw this. Hold on, hold on. You brought you, you brought us a disaster here, guys. Let, let me draw this for you. I don't know. This guy he asked me a question. I have to draw it. What I can do? <laughs> Muhammad is describing for us how a Dajjal father looked like. So he is tall, very tall. Okay. And this is his head. And his nose is like a peak of a bird. All right, and he is fat. Here we have to add some fat. All right, and uh, what else? His mother is bulky. <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I give up. I give up. I give up my art now. I'm going to draw a bulky woman now. You help me. Let us read together, guys. Yeah, this is a funny hadith. Uh, yes. <laughs> here it says that his uh, 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 Allah Messenger he described a Dajjal, described his parents for us, and he said. 
His father is tall, with little fat, with a nose as if it were a beak. His mother is bulky woman, with long breasts. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy, what I would do with this now? I mean, why you brought me this? You know, you remind me of all this stuff. Long breast. How, how I'm going to draw? How I'm going to draw this now? YouTube will shut me down. <laughs> <laughs> Women with long breast. <laughs> Any Muslim can help us tell us what long breast mean? Oh, it means a long breast. <laughs> oh, they can be that, long. That's easy. <laughs> I heard of big, huge. <laughs> I never heard of long. Long. You never heard of long, for real. Not long breast really. Is that a, a statement you, they use in English? Yeah, it's like um, <laughs> yes, yes. It's like long, kind of think, kind of like an old woman. You know, her breasts oh. are long and they hang ah, further down. Ah, you know, ah, further ah, down her waist. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, As opposed uh, to going young and perky. You know? <laughs> uh, okay, okay. I see, I see. But this is not really an accurate, uh, too much translation. Uh, anyway, anyway, let us let us uh, continue. So uh, then it says, I heard about a child. Uh, so Abu Bakara said, I heard about a child being born. To some Jews, oh boy, a Dajjal is going to be a Jew. Mm -hmm. yeah. So as Zubair ibn al-Awwam and I went uh, until we enter upon his parents. They appeared as messenger of Allah, S-A-W, had described them. We said, do you have any children? They said, we remind for 30 years without any child children being born for us finally is coming at the jail is coming <laughs> <laughs> all right now look what they are saying <clears throat> yeah this is a good one actually but you know the 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 problem with this one the muslim they try always not to talk about it because uh, they are waiting for a Dajjal. So how a Dajjal came? That means Muhammad is a false prophet. But anyway. Uh, then we bore a boy having one eye, which is a, a, there is some defect, providing little use. His eyes sleep, but his heart does not sleep. He said, so we were ha leaving them. When he appeared a glittering in the sun in a velvet garment, norming something, he uncovered his head and said, What were you saying? Oof, 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 oof. The guy he is just born, man. We said, Did you hear what we were saying? He said, Yes. That is that my eyes sleep, but my heart does not sleep. True story. Yeah. So what what Shabir Ali was saying about it? He was basically saying, um, well, we can't trust you know all the hadith, you know, because there is one hadith. Well, there are, are hadith about the Dajjal and that he's the you know the false messiah and he's going to come back one day. And then there's another hadith. Um, Actually, I don't know if he said there was one other. He might have said some other hadith, but anyway, there are other hadith where the Dajjal was born to some people, you know, and that they and that they met him and saw him, you know, and so they can't both be true, you know. They can't. The hadith can't be coming back one day, and then one day in the future, and That's they have already met him. Yeah, this is why I was saying time. to you, they try to avoid it because this one will, will show a contradiction in their prophet statement. It's not a contradiction in the hadith, it's in a contradiction of Muhammad's statement. It's showing that he is a liar. That's the whole idea. 
because there is not only one hadith, there is uh, thousands of stories about a Dajjal and Muhammad each time he speak about him say something different uh, so the only way for the Muslims is to say this one may be rejected this one may be accepted but the one is accepted contradicting other one which is accepted too and we can show tons of example you can go just right now type at the jail you said type in what at the jail the 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 you know uh, as as the muslim they type him in that in that hadith the one you gave me and you will find okay. endless numbers of reference or hadith and if you read them carefully you will notice that all of them they contradict each other so which one we have to take <clears throat> Uh, which yeah. one is the correct one? Which one is the one we should uh, refuse? Uh, uh, like Muhammad, he said in, in one statement that there is no city and no country but the Dajjal is going to visit except the city of Mecca and the city of Medina. Correct? I don't know if you know about okay. that. Okay. No, uh, I don't know that. Now, in the hadith here, they said that he is born in Medina. Okay. Correct. Okay. Yeah. How he is not? He is going to enter all cities in the world except Al Medina, and he's born in Al Medina. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Me, let me find you the one about he is going to be yeah. born in the Medina. Hold. On. <clears throat> let us see. You see, this is why I'm saying uh, uh, everything in this religion is a is a is a contradiction of each other. This is why the Muslim they have to find a solution. Which one? Because this guy Muhammad he cannot keep his mouth shut, and each time he talk he do poo poo. Muhammad don't talk. Muhammad do poo poo. Read with me carefully here in the screen. You see, oh. this is Sahih Muslim. There will be no land which would not be covered by a Dajjal. Actually, it's not really covered. It's going to step on it. All right. So okay. there's no, no will be no land which would be would not be covered by a Dajjal, but Mecca and Medina. But the hadith you gave me, it says he is born in Medina. So obviously, Muhammad, he was lying. Well, yeah, because when you say he will never enter a Medina or Mecca, and then you say to me, that they found the prophecy to be the, the prophecy to be true it happened and as you see in the story you gave me it cannot be not a true because they describe something will not happen to anyone you know <clears throat> it's, it's not normal to happen that a person who never have for they are very old people first and they never have a child for 30 years and his, the mother is very old and the father is very old yet they are giving birth to a baby and he speak when he is a baby infant like Jesus and here, here you will notice something very important. They mention in the hadith you gave me that he will speak when he is an infant. Correct? Did he say that? I, I didn't notice that in the... Um, yeah, well, he is. Uh, he's just uh, born. He's just born. He is just born. My friend, okay. if you go and read the hadith, it says... Uh, let, let me put it in the screen again. And then I can just produce it. Uh, it says, I heard about a child being born. Do you see it? Uh, no. Well, well yeah. Yeah, and the, and the hadith the screen me. is a bit behind. It's uh, all right. I heard about a child being born. That's when he is an infant. He's just born. Yeah. <laughs> I just heard about him is being born like you know you cannot say that after uh, after 20 years this is not a child right he's not born this is a man so okay. they heard about the child he's being born that's what it says in Arabic be maulud is somebody just is, they just give birth to him so uh, 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 he they went to check him out he's, he's just born for a family from the Jews from the city of Al Medina and then here you will see they are describing him that he is a child as all infant they sleep right However, right. his eyes, his eyes sleep, but his heart never sleep. Which yeah. means he is always. Well, how do they know that? Yeah, and here you will notice when they are leaving, what they, what he did, he spoke to them. Yeah, well, he appeared, <laughs> glittering in the sunlight. Yeah, and he, but he, he yeah, but he's like you know, uh, uh, like they are leaving the the house, and maybe the sun hitting his face in the bed or something. So. Oh. 
they he said to them what you were saying but he's an infant but why he, he's saying that he is trying to say to you that al Messiah had the jal he is the same as the Messiah remember the real Messiah he spoke in the cradle okay al Messiah had the jar is what the Messiah had the jar is the false Messiah all right. Okay, so this one, so this one speaks in the cradle too. Okay. This one will speak in the cradle, and he is a, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a small, he's an infant, the same as what Jesus when he spoke in the cradle. Both they speak in the cradle. So now the Muslim they cannot say this is cannot be in the the prophecy of the prophet because he spoke in the cradle, and this is something never happened except with the story of Jesus. Okay. So now they cannot say it's maybe possible it is a true story, but they were wrong about him. Maybe he have something wrong with his eyes. So what? You know what I mean? Yeah. His father is maybe his father is tall. Maybe his mother she is old. She have the same uh, description of as the prophet said, uh, and uh, they they give birth to uh, a child after a long time waiting. Oh, it's okay. They can let it go, but they cannot ignore the fact that this child, this baby, is an infant, is speaking in the cradle. That's mean yeah. that this is must be a true story. And <coughs> sorry, and then Muhammad he, he told the true prophecy, but the true prophecy here will contradict another prophecy Muhammad spoke of that no uh, uh, Dajjal will never be able to enter the city of Al Medina or Mecca. Yes, yeah, so he was born here, right? Yeah, so now what we will do, we have to fix it. <laughs> yeah, you have to fix it, but you know, I wonder how did it pass in the first place. Yeah, you know, like actually, now. actually, you know, let, let me let me show you show you something. You see, in the, in the this is the problem with the, uh, 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 when we read, we need to be careful. Do you see where it says he was a glittering in the sunlight in a velvet garment? Yes. Okay, in in the Arabic, maybe in the English is not clear for you. He uh, uh, they are saying he was wrapped, you know, like an infant. You know, he's wrapped. He's a baby. You know, you okay. wrap, you wrap him. So he oh, is in the okay. sun and he is wrapped by the velvet. So his little baby, his little tiny baby is speaking. Yeah. Okay. And then he said, Well, my eyes sleep, but my heart never sleep. Hmm? <laughs> yeah. Okay. You know, I just I just wonder how it passes because um it's such a clear contradiction to the other hadith that we've seen about the jaw, although we've seen them in well, I can't say better sources because uh, Jamia Termity is one of the the important ones, the deep collection, so to speak. But still, it's a clear contradiction. You know, now I see that these people, Jerusalem or Jerusalem, however you pronounce that, they've got a graded naif, um, although that's a passing grade still. But aren't they like new? Isn't that something that this Jerusalem or Jerusalem, their rating system? Most of the, like most of the, the let us say, uh, daif and uh, uh, strong, this is something in you. It's not really from the history of Islam because you see what is, what is written in, in, the, uh, in most of Islamic books, which is considered to be authentic, is supposedly accepted as a strong because a Tirmidhi is one of the Sahih Hadith. So how he is a Sahih Hadith, but yet there is a lot of weak, you know. Yeah. And and uh, so so what what happened when the Muslim they start studying more and more and more they start doing filtering because now there is a contradiction. So what they do, they favor one story above the other story. And usually yeah. they will try to fight the story which will make their prophet look like an idiot. Yeah. It doesn't matter who is the one who report the story. As long as Muhammad saying something will make him look bad. So what we will do? We will try to fight the one. It's saying Muhammad is an idiot. And we will try to say, well, it's not accepted or it is weak. However, even the weak one is supposedly is accepted because at the end of the day, it has a rank. No. Okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> At the end of the day, it's got a rank. Yeah. It had a, you know, you see, if it's rejected, rejected. Da'if does not mean it's it's bad. It's not bad. Right. It's have a rank. It's uh, it's already listed in the shelf. Right. It's so not rejected. Think about it this way: we have <clears throat> we have goods in the shelves, 
we have one is 100% authentic made in Japan we have the other one is made half of it in Japan and half of it in China and we have the other one is made 70% uh, in China and 30% in Mecca so now we cannot deny it because obviously it is still made in Mecca and it is coming from a source they accept the if does not mean it's rejected doesn't does not mean it's not accepted it does mean that there is other hadith which is higher than this uh, as simple as that higher than higher, yeah. higher I, as authentic which mean more trustworthy yeah so, and I guess uh, me being Christian I guess I have a problem with higher accepted <laughs> You know, yeah, higher okay. than accepted. <laughs> you, know, see, so you, you see, all Islam is like this. I mean, how we can know now? Yeah. How we can know that what they call higher is really higher? Because they never witness, and all those stories as reported from, reported from, reported from. So now, how we will know which reported from is the accurate one? Yeah. Well, yeah, because I, you know, I just look at them. You know, it's either reliable or it's not. That's just the way I look at it. If it's a reliable report, then you can rely on it. If it's not a reliable report, you can't rely on it. So, which is which? You know, these three and four different grades that you know that that, that doesn't sit too well with me. It doesn't make any sense to me. You see, you know, if, the, if the Quran day, itself, no. if if the Quran itself uh, is reported by a guy, he is not accredited by the Muslims. Mm. You know, you remember we, we mentioned <laughs> yeah. that uh, uh, yeah. Hafs is called as a liar by Muslims. So the question here, if if the hadith of Hafs is rejected for he is a liar, which means any hadith we bring to them, coming from the mouth of Hafs, the Muslims will reject him. All right, that's wonderful. So now how we can consider the, the Quran itself to be accepted? If the reporter of the Quran, his hadith is rejected. Uh, yeah, yeah, but but they have other Qurans though uh, That they can compare that to You know, I well, know like in uh, North Africa don't they take like war wash Quran or something, but that is but it's different It's not the same It's not the same even the word meaning is different even pronunciation is different. There's many differences between them you see the the the, the uh, uh, Even wash you know, if you go to Warsh, you will find the same problem. All, all the report. Who is Warsh? <laughs> you know, uh, uh. all is the same story. It is. This is. This is how funny the Muslim logic is. When they speak to you about the Quran is preserved, you ask them right away. Do you have the manuscript? They will say yes. Say to them. So why it says that this Quran is reported by the recitation of, according of, according to, according to, according to, according to. If you have the manuscript, we do not need all the citation. Yeah, because they don't have a manuscript, though. <laughs> they don't. You know, it is no. just a recitation, and as long as it's a recitation, there is no way human being he can recite the whole book without mistakes. Muhammad himself, he used to forget the Quran, and the Quran confirmed that. Yeah, well, well, I I say it like this. I, um, I don't say that one person is not capable of that, but what you're not capable of is knowing. I mean. You, you can't know when all you have is hearsay, even if you try to document the hearsay. You know, you can't know, you know, if you've got a hearsay chain of seven people, you can't know if the second person makes a mistake or he made a mistake. You know, especially, especially once they're all dead, the only person that's living is fellow number seven. You can't know if any mistakes were made in between one and seven. Right. And if so, where they were made. Let me if show you all this. you have is look hearsay me. reporting. Look, verbal. look with me in the screen. Uh, uh, look in the yes. screen. Narrated Aisha. This is Sahih Bukhari. Muslims, they cannot say it is fabricated. They cannot say it is weak. This is a very Sahih hadith. Mm -hmm. Narrated Aisha said, Allah Apostle heard. Allah Apostle what? Heard. Okay, what he heard? Heard a man reciting. The Quran at night and said may Allah bestow his mercy on him as he has reminded me 
of such and such verses and such and such surahs I was caused to forget. Oh, yeah, what's the number of that? <laughs> All right. Now, right. this is one of the cases. So how the Muslim, they lie to us, they say, we recite the Quran by heart. If the one who brought the Quran for you, he himself, he forget the Quran. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, now, now see if you now, now I'll, I'll, um, uh, I'll, I'll disagree I'll, on this one. I'll disagree with you on, on that one slightly. Yeah. Because now, if 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 Muhammad's around there making up stuff <laughs> and they're believing it and, and they're just worshiping everything he says, you know, they can commit that to heart because they, they believe it. But he's he's running a scam. So he's just making up stuff. It's easy for him to forget, you know, right. lies. You, you forget what lie you told. You don't forget the truth, but you'll forget what lie you told. And you now, know, because, because and, you're lying, you're making it up. Yeah, add to this, add so. to this. As long now people they knew and confirmed that Muhammad himself, he don't remember his own Quran. What if somebody he fabricates some verses? Well, yeah. Because yeah. He, the Prophet, he forget Quran. I can fabricate my own verse and say, this is what the Prophet, he forget about it, what I can do. Yeah. And this is Sahih Bukhari. This is not a, this is not the Eve. So the prophet of Islam, why Allah? And the funny, this is by the way, this is a contradiction. Do you know to which verse? In the Quran, in the Quran, uh, 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 it says, "Sunniqru'uka fala tansa." Let us let me show you. Allah promised Muhammad that He will recite the Quran for him, <coughs> and He will never forget. Oh. Chapter eighty-seven, verse number. Six. Sunni Quruka Falatansa. Okay, what does that mean? Read carefully with me. We will recite the Quran for you and you will never forget. <laughs> a clear evidence that Muhammad is a false prophet. You know, because how you just say to him uh -huh. that we will recite the Quran for you and you will never forget. And you can change the translation, by the way, uh, Muslims who they are watching. I'm not choosing a translation of mine. You choose anything, anything you want. All right? We make you recite and you shall not forget. Recite what? Recite the Quran. We can go right now to any interpretation for the Quran. You will see is speaking about reciting the Quran, not reciting the Hadith. So Muhammad promised by his God that he will never, ever, Forget the Quran, and this is a verse in the Quran promised by Allah. So then, how Muhammad in the Hadith, which is a Sahih Hadith, saying he forgot the Quran? Do we have any Muslim? Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. <laughs> see, I, I've got another one uh, before right. I run out of time here. Um. Sahih Muslim 11 132. Mm -hmm. um, the one about where um, Muhammad was in bed with Aisha mm -hmm. and then he got up at night okay. and she snuck out, Aisha snuck out behind him mm -hmm. and he hit her in the chest. Okay. Okay. Um, I guess I, I think the translation is. is I think they're trying to change the translation on that because it seems like I, I read it and it used to read, he struck me in the chest, which caused me pain. You know, I know I've seen people make videos on that and I want to say I'd read it that way myself. But when I look it up now, it says, uh, he gave me a nudge on the chest, which I felt, mm. you know, <clears throat> which is different. Which is different from he struck me in the chest, which caused me pain. You know, it, it looks to me like they're trying to soften it up. Yeah, but you know, it's but, a clear but, case. It, but it says there clearly that it hurt her. You know, it hurt. Well, no, no, it says that in, it may say that in the Arabic, which is why I'm bringing it up to ask the question. Okay, in English, does it say, does it, it, say? it doesn't say it hurt in the, in the English one? Now, now, in English, it says, quote, he gave me a nudge on the chest, which I felt. Yeah, uh, that's false. Insult. That's false. This is the Arabic in the front of me. It says, Oh, Ja'atni hurt me. It hurt. So, this is a beating. This is not 
uh, you know, uh, uh, a nudge because this is hurt. It says there the word awja'atni. I don't know if you can see the screen with me. I can highlight for you. Here it says, فَلَهَدْنِي لِهْدَى So he hit me a hit and on my chest and it hurt. I'm not going to add a word. I'm not going to take a word. Uh, this is exactly as it says. Okay. So this is a hit which hurt, not a hit which like, okay, maybe push a little bit or etc. It says, Awja'atni. Okay. Yeah. So that, that's a hit. It's a hit and it says it hurt. Okay. It hit, it and it hurt says me. Hurt, but... It hurt me. Okay. Yeah. And it, could that be interpreted as any other kind of Could it be like a push? No, you see, no, no you see, uh, 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 the word head. Do you know what the slash hammer is? Sledgehammer, yes, yes, this is head. Is a slashing somebody with something heavy? So, he, oh, oh, okay, he, so he slashed her with his heavy hand in a heavy way on her chest, and it hurt. Okay, so right. now does the hit imply, uh, does it? Necessitate a closed fist or an open hand, or does it does it say imply anything uh, like that? It doesn't matter really because it's obviously it is not it is not uh, something uh, uh, to consider uh, uh, anything, but it is beating as beating. He is beating her, but usually this uh, uh, head, like you say, you see in Arabic when we say hadda. It's mean he destroyed. Like you know, you are, if you are saying had, I'm now I'm going to demolish. This is exactly what had had mean. So it's a, it's okay. a it's a hit to demolish. Okay. You know. Okay. You know I, the reason I asked that, you know, because when you start talking about hitting, at least in English, the, the words have similar but slightly different connotations. You know, a slap implies that you hit somebody with an open hand. A punch, you know. Implies you hit them with the closed fist, knuckles first. You know, a chop. You know, it, it implies open hand, but kind of slight sideways. It's, it's all you know, slightly different. That's why I was asking for you know, get the proper context so I can visualize the correct thing. That means uh, it he, is. He it hit is. Her it, hard. is it, it is a heavy. It is a heavy for sure. It is a heavy, heavy hit. Heavy. Uh, heavy, very heavy. It's like you know, it's a throw in, let us say, uh, twenty pound uh, on something. The same as a slash ha hammer, as you said. So this is not just a normal strike. It is, it is something you do to demolish. So it okay. must, it must be a very strong, not just uh, a strike or a slam or a beating. You know. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and it hurt uh, her. So uh, you know. For sure, the Muslim they can try to get away with it, but uh, but uh, we can go to the dictionary and we will find right away what dictionary mean, what uh, what it's talking about. Okay. Yeah, because um, I think that same hadith is in in uh, I think it's in on the side as well. Actually, I I just I just went I just went uh, went uh, to the uh, to the dictionary. Mm -hmm. This is the Arabic dictionary. Let us see together what it says. And so the Muslim can see with me. Well, I'm not adding things from my own. Uh, it says here that the word lehed, the word lehed, is a heavy, heavy uh, 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 pressure on something. This is the first meaning. Okay. Okay. Then, watahu. It's something you do to your animal, like you know when you. Uh, you want you you want your animal to run faster, all right? You so you 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 hit her hard or you you uh, uh, you you make an effort to force her to run like a donkey or a horse. Okay. And then here, walahadahu fulan, and he did this lahad to someone. Mean he pushed him very hard, very very hard on his chest to uh, to humiliate him. It's like a, it's a kind of humiliation. It's like to it's, it's an insult. Okay. Um, yeah, this is what the dictionary says in front of me. I'm not adding a word. Those who they are Muslims, they can. Let me see if I can get it in English uh, from the same website. Let us see. If there is any Muslim he don't agree, please give us a call. You know, I'm showing exactly what it says. Uh, 
I have to see. I put it in uh, in the English one. It says, "Are you sure from the word?" Not find it. Guys, I'm Farah Murphy from uh, commercial. Yeah, this is the this is the translation in English. Let me show you what it says here. And you can tell me based on what I told you, is it close to the meaning or not? Do you see what it says there? Uh, no, my screen hasn't caught up with your screen yet. I'm still looking at the Hadith in Arabic. Here it says overburden, over okay, yes. exert. I'm not okay. sure what does that mean actually. I don't know. Uh, this over exert. Is that yeah. means when you try too hard and you hurt yourself. Mm, okay. Like if you try to lift something that's too heavy, yeah. or you try to run longer than you are capable of running. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So it was something harsh. There's no question about that. It was something you do to the animals usually, or to someone you want to humiliate uh, as a punishment, not as okay. a, not as a reward, not as something nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it, and it hurt on top of that. It hurt. It, it says that in the hadith, right? Well, no, not in English, they took the, the pain oh, okay. out of it. Well, here we go. In Arabic, it says in front of me, and I change any Muslim to say, you can take, uh, let me give you the the text in Skype. Uh, this text, copy-paste. Actually, I can do it uh, right here in Google. Yeah, I can Google. do that. You know, I, I, I take your word for that. Um, you yeah. don't have to do all that. Yeah. So it says, so he he, he, he did that in my chest, and it hurt. The Muslims, they will not post the word of Jatni because obviously that will make it that he was beating her. However, right. we can find we can find different hadith because what we sometimes what Muslims happen, they forget their lie in a translation in different hadith. You know what I mean? So yeah. if you look in different hadith, you might find it says he hurt me. Let us see. Uh, well, I know it's in it's in Sunan on the side uh, 21 two. Uh, it's a 21 221 I think it is yeah uh, and, but it says the same thing in the in the English in that one uh, let's see here Yeah, I'm trying to find. Uh, here we go. Here we go. You see it in English? I found it. Uh, I, I found it. This I will send you the link. It says here. So he gave me a shove in the chest that hurt me. I don't know what shove means. Do you see push. it? Let me yeah, send did it. you hear me? Let me send you the link. Okay. Okay. You see it now. It says, "and in my chest, and yeah. that hurt me." So in the okay. other translation, they 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 escape the word "hurt me" because that will expose, uh, you know, what happened. But still, I believe I don't know what "shove" mean. What "shove" mean? Push to like push someone really hard. Uh, this is not really a push only. This is not a push. Yeah, but a shove is it's it's kind of. If you visualize like two men fighting or about to fight, two men about to fight, oh, like push you with my two hands like away from me. Yeah, uh, yeah, you double palm push and mm. you heave push as hard as you can. That's a shove. It's, it's sudden. Okay. Well, this you is know. the Muslim translation. I have nothing to do with it. This is what it says. Uh, in Arabic, I see it more aggressive. Uh, it is something harsh you do even to your animal, you know, to force him to do something to you, or something you do to your enemy to humiliate him. As we saw in the Arabic dictionary, but the question here: Why in this translation here they are appearing? They are saying the word "hurt me" 
when it is the same story why here it says hurt me and the other one doesn't say hurt me <clears throat> yeah yeah well it 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 smacks of the slow you know the slow translation creep you know where it starts off rough and then over time they soften it you know yeah. at first it's a hit that hurt then it's a shove that hurt yeah. and then it's a you know they try to a make shove it that didn't hurt <laughs> yeah but but this is why i'm saying always if you try to, to look for the same hadith in different location oh. you might find a better uh, clear uh, <laughs> Uh, uh, meaning for uh, exposing the first liar. Yeah, well, you know, I it, <clears throat> I, I actually got it correctly when I looked at it because I looked at it and I reasoned it out. You know, when someone pushes you, you know, a push doesn't go to how you felt. If you're trying to describe how you were pushed, you tell them what position you were in after you pushed. I was standing up and he pushed me backwards. You know, he pushed me and I fell down. You know, he pushed me and I tripped. It, it changes your posture, your location. But if somebody hits you, it, that describes damage, how you feel. You know, he hit me and it hurt. Or he hit me so hard, you no, know, he was so weak it didn't even hurt when he hit me. That's the kind of logic that I use. And, and when you read it, this says he gave me a push that I felt. You don't really feel a push actually that it doesn't hurt at all you know normally it just knocks you down so i and, thought they were trying to cover something unless up. unless it is really a hit it's not really just a push it's my because well, a normal push a will not really hurt your chest i mean it's just a push right well but you won't feel it you might you, might, you, you might won't feel, feel the need to tell somebody yeah you may feel down huh? you may feel down you right. might uh you know but uh this is this is not what you described <clears throat> okay well that that was it um, and, you know and anyway you know Muhammad is a very uh, 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 ugly man in his behavior with his women we can give tons of proofs of that and uh, uh, if not many stories about Muhammad beating his wife doesn't mean that he did not beat them because who said that everything Muhammad did is written there remember that all oh. the seerah is reported by the Muslims is filtered and the the writer of the seerah they said from the beginning from the first pages anything is not suitable or does not fit with the prophet it's taken off so there's tons of stories they are reported about the prophet he did he said and the muslims they took it off this is a filtering and not an honest filtering because if you are a reporter you report as Every it day. is you know yes as it is yeah yes. <clears throat> Uh, and uh, like uh, it's it's very is uh, uh, very normal actually. As an example, you will see that uh, Aisha, when she disobeyed Muhammad once, uh, Abu Bakr, he was beating the hell of her. And then Muhammad, yeah. after she been beaten many times, then Muhammad he said, "It's okay, let her, let her. It's okay, you know." Oh. But he did not stop the man. He did not stand in front of him, say, "Don't beat her." He didn't give him a verse says, "Don't beat me, be, beat your daughter." Now this is a daughter she is married to this man and now the father is beating her yeah let me find you a hadith hold on yeah i've read that um i read that somewhere too but i don't know if we can find yeah uh we can find yeah, it in there's, there's no. another angle to that hadith as well you know um does aisha you know she's a child bride remember she was 18. Mm. you know 18 years by a lunar calendar when muhammad died right you know so she was at 17. this point she was nine when they consummated so at this time she's most likely like 11 or 12. as the last four years of mom's life he was sick you know sick from from the poison the kaibar right so so, so he was beating who he was beating her when she is still very young too yeah so but i mean you know a lot of people you know the question you would have is is he trying to beat her or is this more like a spank is your intent to spank you know which raises the the question you know if if your wife is young enough for you to spank she's too young to actually be a wife yeah. you know to anybody you know it, it's you know it, it's a 
it's just not right when you look at it. Well, from, this this is a guy who made right. a chapter of saying beat your wives anyway. I mean, what's the big deal? <laughs> well, yeah. Right? See, if you can beat your wife, you can just beat yeah. your wife. Well, you can beat your no. wife, so she is a wife anyway. A man, he made it legal for men to beat their wives. So shouldn't he practice what he himself promoted? And he made a chapter, his nickname coming from God? Because, you see, yeah. we, we have first to discuss the idea, if beating women is not right, first in Islam, then we can say that the manner of the, when the Muslim, they say the, the Prophet, he never beat a woman. Uh -huh. That means that there's a question is, <laughs> why he don't believe in Islam? Well, yeah. are, uh, like, are, are you saying that the manner of Muhammad is better than the manner of Allah? If Allah he made it legal for the man to be the wife, so what is the problem by saying to me? What do you mean that the Prophet he never beat a woman? <laughs> oh no! You know what I mean? Yeah. Then the next question is, why is Muhammad? <laughs> Muhammad, why are you forbidding yourself from something that Allah yeah, has made so law So why, you, you know, if, if she is behaving <laughs> and already, pro her. proven already that his wife, even the Quran report that the wives are very angry from Muhammad and Allah, he threatened them to divorce them. So you can imagine how much beating is involved. So if the Quran in chapter 4, verse number 34 says, you can scourge your wife and you can beat them. And the Muslim, he is saying to me that the Prophet never did beat a woman. Are you telling me that Muhammad have a good manner, but Allah don't have a good manner? Yeah, but CP, now that's correct. But just going further, there is a verse where Muhammad restrains himself from doing what Allah has gave him permission to do. Right. And Allah steps in the and chapter says, of the Why are you holding yourself back? Yeah. <laughs> I've made it lawful for you to do so, do it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> Unreal. Well, what we can do? Sadly, there's no Muslims calling us today, and I don't know why the Muslims. Maybe they are on vacation. It's okay, or maybe they are preparing themselves to go to heaven. And uh, 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 Allah is preparing the whitening for them, you know, because the the, the water will make you white. Is is, is a lot of water. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't know what to say. I'm really impressed with this religion, and this is a really amazing religion. I mean, it's a full of logic. Full of science. By the way, if you guys, I did not know. I don't know. Know if you watch my videos in in Facebook, because there I use the Muslim videos uh, to, to to get them busted. So go watch them. Uh, I know that many of you don't like Facebook, but who said you need to use a real name? I mean, they said they uh, they take your uh, reference. Don't use a real name. Just use any email, fake name. Call yourself Shish Kebab Falafel. Who care? And then if they shut down your account, who care too? I mean, you make a new one. It's you know this is this is the same. Do, do you think Google don't spy at you? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Google is the best spy ever. They knew even if you have a business trip is going to be when they have your emails. You have they they have everybody spy at you. Don't you have a phone? As long as you have a phone as a running Android, yeah. Google have all your secret there. If you have yeah. Apple, Apple knows all your secret there. If you have Yahoo, Microsoft, they know all your secrets. So, yeah. my friend, don't think if the only way if you don't want to be uh, uh, to somebody spy at you, don't ever use the internet. Yeah, not ever. Yeah. So, and, and if you have a computer, don't ever connect it to the internet. Right. If you have a computer, they, everybody spy at everybody. Even uh, you know, like sometimes I wonder, like there's a, there's a there's advertising appear from the middle of nowhere. I don't know they how they come. You know, I mean. Uh, uh, like I, I, I never. Uh, 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 Sometimes you get surprises of of, uh, of advertising. Like you think about it, <laughs> advertising is right there. <laughs> you, know? Uh, you know how they do that, don't you? Well, I I have an ideas about the cookies, but if you search, usually if you search about something, mm -hmm. then they will collect cookies legally, supposedly, yeah. about your search, and now they knew that you are interested. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. But uh, what happens sometimes? Because I, I, I like uh, I look for hadith like sex with etc. Sex, sex, sex. You know, <laughs> because you look too much for sex, then sometimes embarrassing advertising appear in the front of you. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, they yeah. think that this guy is interested. Of, of yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like YouTube is, is always sending me unboxing. Okay, 
I click and okay. not interested. Then I I open my again. I I see the same thing coming. Unboxing, but unboxing of what? Because of the topics you always talk about, is involve uh, sexuality, etc. Blah blah blah. Then they will yeah. send you videos. Have to do like there is women they are doing in YouTube unboxing for panties. Yeah. They try yeah. it in the front of you in the camera, and they have like three, four millions. There's a woman; she have thirty-one million view. Yeah. Do you think it's yeah. a good idea to do that? I think we should. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't get thirty-one million views though. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, guys, look how look how the world is filthy. What if a man he did try a panty on the camera in YouTube? Don't you think they will block him in two seconds, <laughs> and he will be reported for exposing his <laughs> private part? How yeah. come a woman she can go and show her boobs and show her panty and she bent over like you should, you should see how she do the unboxing? The box is in the floor, and then she bent over and the camera behind her bum. And now slowly she is grabbing the box. It, it's yeah. softcore porn. I mean, yeah, it's just, it's just what how it come is. nobody complain? My YouTube, they send me, uh, uh, they send me notice saying your videos is inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> My videos are inappropriate, and those videos are halal. Well, you just the shifting in the more fabric of the country. That's a uh, completely do. different discussion. Yeah. CP, I, I've got to go. Um, <laughs> I've got to go. Um, I'll be listening over over YouTube All right, over now. my phone, but right now I've got to go. Thank you for my questions, and um, I'll ask you whatever else next time. Thank you. God the best. Take care. Thanks. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yeah, my videos are not appropriate, my friend. I mean, can you believe it? And those women doing this unboxing, showing their panty. I'm not going to show you the videos because if I show you the videos, you guys, you will close my video and go start work, watching there. I will be left alone here. <laughs> all right, all right. <coughs> uh, let us see. So do we have any Muslim would like to call us? I don't see it. Any Muslim? Maybe, maybe, any Muslim. Uh, and by the way, there's something we did not cover about the shape of Allah. Uh, because the Muslim, they said, uh, if you remember the... the uh, the topic we were talking about about uh, 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 Jesus spirit and his body and his flesh do you remember the hadith where Allah he changed his shape so if we give the same question for the Muslims when Allah he changed his shape what happened to the first shape if there is a separation between the shape of Allah the first one and the second shape Any Muslim want to tell us? If there is a separation between the shape of Allah, the first shape and the second shape, who want to give us uh, an answer? Uh... Bill, what is your name there? Any Abdul? What is your thought in the most of what is written about Muhammad by Muslims are made up and they were made up to create new ideology and are... I cannot speak of that because simply I, we can judge only what we have and what we have anyway is disgusting okay now i see you i don't know why before i didn't see you all right finally we got you all right 
you see, I'm not going to go and uh, try to look for theories about Muhammad. There is no need. Uh, Muhammad, as he is, is a stupid, is a liar, is a false man, is a criminal, is a thief. I do not need more. So, actually, I might even be giving escape to Muhammad by saying, and this is what the, some Muslims try to do now, they try to say to you that the history of Islam is fabricated. The Prophet was a good guy. So when you sponsor such an idea that it is rewritten, you are giving Muhammad a chance again to survive. You know what I mean? It's like you are saying he is not guilty because they fabricated lies about him. So why do you want to do that? I hope you got it. Do we have any Muslim would like to call me? Any Muslim would like to give us a call? Maybe, maybe. We are here waiting for you. No, no. I believe Muhammad as a, as a person is, a, is, a, is real. But the name maybe is not correct. Because you see the Quran lead us that Muhammad is just a title. Never been exist as a person by name. Which means the name of Muhammad is not the name of a person, is a title for a person. That person is exist. Is a real person. Okay. Uh, but is Muhammad is his real name? Uh, for sure, I am convinced. Even the Quran call Muhammad in many names. Actually, the Muslim they believe that Muhammad have ninety nine names. No, there is no need to say if Muhammad is false, then Islam is false. There's no need to do that. Because first of all, uh, it's a waste of time to say Muhammad is false. Because how you can prove it uh, to, to be false? It's just a theory. It's like some people, they say that Jesus never exists. It's just a, their own theory. So you are wasting your time and you have no proof whatsoever of that. And why I want to say Muhammad does not exist? What what is the point? What will I accomplish? I will accomplish that Islam is false. What about I prove Islam is false, and that will prove that Muhammad is false anyway? Islam is what we have. Muhammad we don't have. So how you can prove Muhammad not not exist if we don't have him? <laughs> you know what I mean, guys? We have we have to prove what we have to be false. But trying to throw rocks at what, what we don't have is not a smart idea. He's gone anyway. He's not here. Uh, I know, I know what you mean. But focus always in hitting the head of the snake, not the tail. It doesn't matter what Muslims they say. If the Muslim they say the hadith is fake, what about the Quran? If they say the Quran is fake, then Islam is gone. The Quran itself is the most stupid book. We can prove right now without using any hadith that is that the Quran is a stupid. Who wanna challenge me on that? Any Muslim? So why I need to look for Muhammad if he's fake or not? I who care if the hadith is fake or not? The Quran itself is fake and we can prove it. Yesterday I made a video in, in, in Facebook. I'm not sure if you uh, uh, if you saw it. The Muslim, they changed the translation of a chapter 86, verse number uh, uh, 7. And they claim that Allah, he said there, that we are created from cement and steel. You believe it? Do you believe it? <laughs> this is a new translation. The Muslims, they heard, there is some scientist, they claim that everything is created from dust, which is cement, and the steel. So the Muslims, they like the idea. So now the Muslims, they change the translation of chapter 86, verse, num uh, uh, verse number 7, and they say that verse is speaking about 
we are recreated from cement see how the, so see, see how Islam abrogate itself so if we go right now to this chapter we will find the following he created from a drop emitted proceeding from the backbone and the ribs the Muslim now in that video this woman her name is Claire. she is she is working for the Muslim channel and I get her busted badly they change the backbone to steel and the wood ribs became cement suddenly you see you see how they try how how they fake steel and cement i never ever imagined that the muslims they will come with such a garbage ever and they will say such a thing to us i never imagined that here the word ribs will turn to be cement and the word backbone is going to be translated by their video as a steel steel and cement by the way guys let me tell you something this is true this is a true story i'm going to tell you don't share any this this is between us okay well, once once i was in afghanistan and a taliban he threw at me a grenade okay but because I was made from cement and steel, look what happened. I put the grenade inside my mouth and then I chew it and then I spit it out. The Taliban, he had more grenade. So he started throwing grenade at us and I chew it and I throw it out. Throw, chew it and throw it out. Until like next to me, I have like a lot of chewed granite. And this is a true story. Yeah. If you don't believe me, I can show you the reference from Sahil Bukhari. Strong hadith. How in the world you Muslims <clears throat> change what it says here that you are created from a sperm and this is sperm is coming from a drop of a sperm which is false by the way because the God of Islam he make it as if we are really created from a sperm we are not created from a sperm sperm doesn't grow have you ever heard of a sperm growing <laughs> hey Abdul uh, I'm going to give you some of my sperm and uh, can you make it like five kilos if I give it to you like I give you like a drop of a sperm and bring it to me back like five kilograms of a sperm the Quran claim that women have a sperm and men have a sperm and the sperm of the man coming from the backbone and the sperm of the women coming from the ribs yet the Muslims in their false translation because they are liars they have no dignity when they translate they translated that the backbone is a steel and the ribs is a cement Do we have any Muslim here made it from steel or cement? Abrams, how how are you, Abram? Abram is a Muslim. Is Abram is a Muslim? Uh, I blocked him. He must be an idiot. <laughs> let me see. Let me see. <coughs> Let me see why Abram is what what's your name in Skype Abram to see if you are blocked What his name in blocked is that the same name <coughs> The funny I said he must be an, an an idiot he agree he said yes All right I don't see you what what's your name there What's your name in uh, in Skype? Can you tell me what's your name in Skype? <clears throat> because I don't, I don't find Abraham here or Abraham. There's I look at all the names start with A. I don't see any Abraham. <clears throat> He's a doctor? Oh, okay. I am a doctor too. Muhammad is a doctor. 
and as long he's a doctor that's really wonderful actually so what's your name man what's your name in this uh, Skype as long as you are saying I blocked you I don't see your name don't call why you don't want me to call I thought you want to talk to me so I did not block you then why you are you saying to them I blocked you what's your name Give me your name, I will call you. Post post your name, I will give you a call from here for free. You are looking for a customer, why not? We cannot find Muslims, and finally we found you. <laughs> we will pay you, man. We will pay you. Can you call us? Allah will pay you. Can you imagine how many version Allah will give you extra if you call me to fight Christian Prince? Can you imagine how many young boys? So why guys telling me he is going to call? I don't want to call. He's a coward. He's a kid. Forget about him. Do we have any Abdul would like to call us? <clears throat> Anyone? No, you are a Muslim. You don't go one way ticket to Las Vegas. Uh, you as a Muslim, <laughs> you go one way ticket to Afghanistan, <laughs> the heaven of Allah, the land of the drugs. <clears throat> uh, according to study, more than 90% of the population of Afghanistan are high. Hi. 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 They have drugs more than tomato. Any Abdul? Don't forget, please, to subscribe to our channel here. This is the same channel we teach Arabic in it. So if you are interested to learn Arabic, you can go and watch my previous videos. They are for free, and they will teach you Arabic. All right, if you are interested. You see, I made an Arabic class to teach people Arabic, but people don't like things for free, my friend. They like things is paid. So people, they say in the beginning, yes, we want to join. Yeah, Allah Akbar. Excited, okay? Then when we start teaching Arabic, the first class was maybe 13, 15, I'm not sure, 20. I'm not sure how many. I forgot. Then the second is like 12. Then the third is like 9. And then <laughs> they started dropping, <laughs> like like the Muslims when they are going around the Kaaba, they get dizzy and they fell down, and then they step the, the the one behind you, he step in the top of you, and you die. So we made it, you know, we made the uh, teaching Arabic available for everybody, uh, for free, but sadly people don't appreciate for you know for free things. Uh, because I think the mentality of a human being is is a very simple that when you say to him it's for free <clears throat> then he said to himself ah, I don't feel like going now to learn I did not pay for it anyway so if I didn't if I miss it I, I he don't feel uh, he lost money you know what I mean if you make it paid then they will be worrying about not coming to the class so it was my fault yeah People don't appreciate the free things. They think it's cheap. Sadly. How to say batata batata. Al batata. Batata. Same as potato. Batata. 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 No, look like we lost connection here. What happened? Let us see. Hold on. Connection dropped for a second. All right. 
let us see here. All right, I have the I have the images coming to you from your side. Any Abdul? Do we have any beautiful Abdul would like to call us or any handsome Muslim? This is the religion forbid Muslim women from shaving their mustache and order Muslim men to shave their mustache. Everything is upside down. This God, he enjoys seeing women with beard. I mean, what I can do? You see, when you see a Muslim woman, she have a clean eyebrow, she have a clean face, she have no hair there. That means she is not really a true Muslim. Because Allah curse her according I can show you the reference when you see a woman a Muslim woman she have thick eyebrows hair in her in the top you see uh, I'm not making fun of anyone you know I am a Middle Eastern and we Middle Eastern are hairy you know you know that you know the, the movie Harry and Booter Harry Booter <laughs> so we as Middle Eastern we are very hairy and once I went to the to the to the swimming pool to swim the security guard he said to me sir you cannot swim with your clothes I said what the clothes man I'm not wearing no clothes he said so what is that I said this is my hair this is a true story by the way we can I can show you the reference from Sahir Bukhari so we are hairy which mean our women are hairy too okay now as long the Prophet he forbid women from taking hair from their face can you imagine what will happen to our women you marry an Arabian woman huh you marry my cousin let us say you marry my cousin now she is your wife and you are going to kiss my cousin in, instead of kissing her face I'm not going to worry about you kissing her face because you will never get there you will kiss her beard because the Prophet he forbid the women <laughs> Have you ever heard of a prophet like this? I mean, serious. What's wrong with this prophet? Why the women she cannot shave her beard? I mean, why? What? <laughs> oh boy. Uh, Do we have any Abdul here to tell us the, the logic behind this uh, prophet? I mean, uh, what does that mean? Why, why, why this is what? What's the problem here? Does God he enjoy it if your wife she have a beard? And the same time, Allah is ordering the men to shave their mustache. It's not a problem, but the women shaving their beard is a problem. So Allah, He will enjoy it to see a woman that she have a beard and she have a mustache and her eyebrows look like a goat. Why is that? What is the business with Allah? I mean, what sin she did exactly? Any Muslim? <clears throat> Do we have any Muslim there? Any Abdul? Obviously, they have no answer because this is very stupid, you know. Why does God, he is worried about a woman? You know, the, the logic the Muslim, they will say to you, because when you do take hair from your face, you are changing the way Allah He created you. Okay. Well, how come Allah He ordered the women to shave around her private part? Isn't it how Allah created her? How come Allah He ordered you to do circumcision? Isn't it this is how He created you? Which one is more obvious that you are changing the hair or ch changing the look more than circumcision? If this is the logic, you know what I mean? What's the business of Allah? Allah, He cursed the women. She she have a wig. Why Allah will be upset from a woman have a wig? What's pro what if she is bald? What what is the problem? Uh, 
any Muslim have an, an answer what is what is the problem exactly what is the concern of this God what will happen to the galaxies and the 7 11 heaven if a woman she took some hair from her face what exactly the danger there Allah himself in heaven is excited now and he want to curse her and he sent two angels to say to her we curse you 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 they will keep doing that all night read with me carefully <clears throat> by the way uh, if you are a woman who have a beard don't forget to send me a text message in private okay we Arab we like women with beard Alhamdulillah Alhamdulillah it's my dream my friend to marry a woman she have a beard unbelievable as the prophet he wanted us to marry <laughs> that would be wonderful you know because we go in the street nobody even will try to look at my wife because who is going to look at a woman she have a beard I'm not going to even to worry about her let us continue let us continue <clears throat> this is why I want to marry women she have a beard so if you are qualified send me your resume tell me how long your beard how long your mustache how much hair you have in your body because this is very important too this is very important Look at this. <clears throat> the Prophet, the Prophet said, the Prophet, when he said, have you ever seen a Muslim say the name of the Prophet without saying, I mean, it's like it's like he's God. The funny, they say the name of Allah without saying anything. But the, the second, they say the name of Muhammad, the Prophet, when he prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and the prophet when he sallallahu alaihi wasallam i mean what's wrong with you go to the topic man are we going to spend the day saying sallallahu alaihi wasallam let us go let's go the prophet said sallallahu alaihi wasallam if <clears throat> what if what do you get though see guys here we go christian prince is fabricating hadith he add if here please take a note it's recorded it is recorded here we go did you hear the prophets that uh, christian prince just said if Huh? Did we hear him? Yes, he did. It is recorded. I told you he lied. I told you. Every one of you heard him saying if, but there is no if in the hadith. Please record it. Please, please record it. Please, brother, sister. <laughs> if the women who the women who supply fake hair, yeah, what about her? <laughs> Is that Costco? Is that a woman she work in Costco? <laughs> Unbelievable. The women who supply fake hair and the one who asked for it. What the heck? So now we have the supplier and the buyer? The women who pulls hair, pulls out hair, boing, boing, other people hair, and the women who pull, the, the, do that to herself. <laughs> I mean, Muhammad is covering all the scenarios. You see, Muhammad is very smart. He will not let one scenario go 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 out of his curse. <laughs> Man. Okay, be honest with me, ladies. How many of you right now is pulling hair from your face because we are talking about the topic? If you are doing that, give me one. I want to know how how many of you Allah is cursing right now. <laughs> So we start counting. So, okay, the women who pull hairs from the people and the women who peel hair from herself and the women who tattoos, okay, Allah against tattoos, and the one who has done when there is no disease to justify as it have been cursed. I curse you, I curse you, I curse you, I curse you, I curse you. Now here, let us see more uh, more explanation for this. <clears throat> Abu Dawood, how are you doing, Abu Dawood? Abu Dawood, guys, is my friend. He is my favorite guy. Abu Dawood said, yes, Abu Dawood. Wasila mean the women who add false hair to hair uh, to the hair of women. I mean, God, the Almighty, is upset from a little tiny woman who is five foot. And she added some hair to her hair. Why? I mean, seriously, what is the crime she did? Why? Is that disturbing the Almighty God? 
Is he unhappy now? Allah is cursing this woman because she added some hair. Why? Any Muslim want to explain to us? Ladies, in the text, how many of you are bold? Be honest. Let me count. Uh, Leela is bold. Who else? Who else? Gadlia, Gadlia, you are a lady, right? Gadlia is bold too. And okay, who is else? Who is else? Women are not texting. How I'm going to find them now? I'm trying to find who is bold here. They are not helping me. Christian by choice, you are not a woman. You are a man, and you are bold anyway. I know it. Okay, who, who else? Uh, I don't know. I mean, it just looked like we don't have too many women here. They are bold. Uh, but uh, based in the uh, association, association breast, what, what, how do you say it? Associated, associated. <laughs> okay, so now if you are a woman who is adding hair to her hair, you are really in a serious trouble. And you have a file, a file case in the sheriff of Allah. It's called cursing case. Allah will go to the library and he will check your name there and he will find, okay, let us open the file of Lila Lila. Lila Lila, how are you? Everybody upset from you that including the prophet of Allah and he is going to make you barbecue. Leila, Leila, how are you? How you do that? Shame on you. And now Allah, he is looking at the file and he say, Leila, in the date of uh, April 29, she added a hair to her hair? Like, what the heck? Leila, she did that? How disgusting. Let me call the alarming angels. I'm going right now to tell Leila and show Leila that I am I am Allah and I am the, my prophet Muhammad is so so upset. So what we will do? We are going to establish a cursing party. I'm going to call all the angels I have in my classroom. Now the angels, they are start to gather to see what's wrong. What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? They are coming from everywhere. From everywhere, you name it. Angels, like millions of angels. Even some of them, they start receiving alarming message to their cell phone. This is Jibreel link tone, Jibreel. You see, Jibreel. Jibreel, see, listen, listen, Jibreel, you know, this is different tone from, see, Jibreel, now Jibreel is being alarmed, okay, even the old, the grandmother and the grandfather, actually, sorry, the grandfather angels who they have an old phone system, they will receive a call. Everybody is going to receive a call. No exception. All the angels will come and they will gather because now we are going to start a party and this party is to curse that woman who did take care of her vase. I mean, can't you tell how much dangerous this behavior is? God Almighty is cursing that woman for taking hair or for adding hair to her hair. Uh, this is a very hairy topic. This is very hairy topic, especially if you are Sam Shamoon, our brother, beloved brother Sam Shamoon. If we take about hair too much, he will be like, "What? Why they are talking about that?" <laughs> I love this guy; he's a wonderful man. Uh, so Allah, my friend, Allah, He put conditions. 
He put conditions. If you like to get cursed by Allah, hmm, then do the following. Add some hair to your hair. The second you add hair to some hair, Allah will get notification. Let us explain it to you according to brother uh, 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 Zakir and I. Uh, brother Thifter, I speak to all sister in Islam. Some of you, you might that will make you look more beautiful. First of all, I will give you an example. Me, myself, I have four wives. And most of them, they have no hair at all, except in the beard, like me. Look at my beard. However, it's not lawful for my wife to add hair to my hair because if you add hair to your hair, Allah will get alert. And Allah will curse you. And the angel will curse you. And they will spend the night saying, we curse you, we curse you, we curse you. So why you want to do that yourself and put yourself under the curse of Allah? Just to add some hair? May Allah curse you. Thank you very much. Alhamdulillah. I mean, this is amazing religion, man. I mean, this is deep. This is deep. Who can question such a religion? And now here, things is getting deeper. This guy explained to us what Namisa mean. What Namisa mean here? The word Namisa. What does that mean, Namisa? Means a woman who black hair from the bro. What? Until she make a thing. How disgusting. Do you see how women they destroy their career and their future? Imagine, sister, you are a woman who pray into Allah five times a day. Your husband even beat you, you don't complain. You brought to Islam 20 kids, and today you took some hair from your brows. Allah is cursing you. Why you do that? I mean, what's wrong with you? Why you want to do that yourself? Why? Someone is asking who care about such a matter. What's wrong with you? Allah, he care. Don't you see this is Allah, Allah, the almighty, the all, the all God, all, be, all beloved God. <laughs> what do you mean who care about this matter? Allah, he care. Don't you see Allah, he cares the women who is doing that. He care very much. Come on, show some respect. What if Allah heard you now saying who care about this matter? Allah will curse you. I know a person. I know a person. He cursed Allah. He woke up in the morning, looked like a Christian prince. You believe it? I'm serious. This is really true story. He cursed Allah at date, at, like before he sleep. He said Allah is a stupid. He woke up in the morning. He found himself punished by Allah, and he looked like a Christian prince. <laughs> you should take it seriously. Don't be careful. You don't want to be cursed by Allah. Imagine you sleep as a beautiful person. You wake up in the morning look like Ahmadinejad <laughs> or like a Christian priest. How scary is that? I mean, God forbid, God forbid. I don't want that to happen to any of you. Sorry. I don't mean it. I don't mean it. I take it back. I take it back. Unbelievable. If, or or you, let us say you sleep smart, you wake up stupid like Christian prince. I mean, that is a curse too. If... <laughs> My brain is a gift to the point I cannot sleep. <laughs> I can't turn it off. I don't know what to do with it. I go to sleep trying to turn it off. I mean, how you can turn off your brain? I don't know. Even when I'm asleep, I'm writing my book. You believe it? Like I have ideas coming to my head. I will do this. I will add this. I will say about this. I will talk about this. I am really horrible. I don't know what to do. I think Allah cursed me. He gave me this brain. Now here, the story get more complicated. Mutanamisa. Look, 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 look how the Muslims they translate for you in English now. Mutanamisa mean the women. This is Mutanamisa. Let us make it this one in, in, in red. Okay. Mutanamisa means 
the women who depleted de de herself. If, 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 if. That is serious. That is really serious. I don't know why women they do that to themselves. What's wrong with you women? I advise you to repent to Allah. From now on, I want to see all of you taking selfie and you have a growing beard and a growing mustache and a thick eyebrows. Therefore, Allah the Almighty will be happy from you. In the same time, you will be safe even if you come back home at 4 a.m. in the morning wearing no clothes because nobody will even get close to you. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know what to do. <clears throat> this religion is amazing. We have to admit, I mean, we have no choices except to say that this is a wonderful religion. Who can, who can reject this uh, logic? This God is very... You see, here actually you see how much Allah, He cares for us. He is even counting the hair in your head and knows what you took off, what you put in, and He is concerned about you as a woman, and you have no mustache. Hmm. Do we have any Abdul? <clears throat> Actually, I made a video about Shabir Ali. You can watch it in the minds. I don't know if you saw it. Uh, uh, Shabir Ali is a, is a fake sheikh. He have a girl. She is doing an interview for him. You can see how she is, you know, she is drawing her eyebrows. She has tons of makeup in her face. You know, Muhammad, he said that for women, she put perfume over her uh, herself in the front of foreigners, which means not her husband. She is a whore. She's an adulterist. That was his daughter? No, I don't think so. No, I don't think so because she don't look the same as him. How the daughter is white and the guy he is he look uh, he have a dark skin doesn't make sense. Yeah. The daughter is very white. Maybe they, uh, she is uh, using uh, some uh, cream. I don't know. No, I don't think it's his daughter. No, no. Uh, you can tell she is I mean, she is a Middle Eastern. He is a Pakistani, right? She she is not from Pakistan, or you can tell right away. The look is different. <clears throat> Maybe she is a future wife. Anyway, do we have any Abdul? No, she is not. Any Muslim? No, we don't have Muslims? All right. Anyway, guys, I think we have enough for today. Please subscribe to this channel. So, you know, you for, from now on, for some time, we will use this channel. However, um, I'm, uh, I'm trying to find out how we can do broadcast in more than one channel at the same time. And if any of you, would like to broadcast my live broadcast for free. Is that good? If any of you would like to broadcast, like now we are broadcasting, if you have a computer and you have the ability to broadcast my broadcast on your channel, I have no problem with that. Even if you have 10,000 people there, and I have zero here, I don't care. All right? Because the point is not me. It's not about you coming to, to listen to me uh, as a person as much it is about the truth and what we, we try to share with you. Uh, me here is not exist because simply you don't even know my name. You don't you know, even, thank God, you don't know how I look like. Thank God, man. I mean, if you see how I look like, you would, not even one of you will be here. And this, like, some people, they say to me, why you don't open your camera? Are you kidding me? The second I open it, like, bing, everybody's gone. Everybody, I will find myself alone. <laughs> anyway, uh, <clears throat> uh, so 
feel free to broadcast in your channel if you can do so and let us spread the truth and the truth will set you free I will try my best to broadcast at the same time in Facebook YouTube uh, Twitch and um, there is a Vimo. I don't know what they call it. Vimo. Do you think the Vimo like maybe? I think Vimo. It was something else. But the owner of Vimo, she took some hair from her eyebrows, and Allah cursed her. I think she was Vimora, uh, Varanira. But then after the curse became Vimo. I think something happened because she took some hair from her face. So uh, help us, help us. For you, when you help us, you help yourself. We are fighting the cult, which might affect even your child. Who go to school your daughter your son your wife your sister your family your neighborhood we are not fighting the Muslims we are fighting the cults a cult which is aggressive and bad and ugly thank you very much for being here and I remind the Muslims Christ he is waiting for you to accept him so you will be saved he don't hate you he came to save you and without him, you Muslims have no salvation. A dead man like Muhammad, he cannot save you. We have the living Jesus, and this is even in your Quran, that he is alive. So why you want to follow the dead man and leave or leave the living one, which he can save you, which now he is in heaven according to your religion. So I advise you to be smart, to follow the one who is right now as we speak according to your religion in heaven and not to follow the dead man the dead man should be followed only by people who have dead brain he is dead the messiah is alive and i choose to belong to the living messiah until i see you again may the lord bless you all christ you know christ is lord islam is false and i love you all and see you Maybe not tomorrow, maybe the day after, because Monday usually I don't do broadcast. See you and get a blast. Thank you very much.